So today I'm back working with my doll's house. It's going to be another one of these relatively informal videos just showing you the progress. As you may have seen, I have made a couple of specific things to go inside, namely a little bookshelf to go in the master bedroom um, and also a coffin shelf to go in the study. But over this past couple of days, I've just been sorting out the furniture, seeing what I need to get, seeing what I need to make. What I'm trying to do is use as much of what I have already if that makes sense i'm gonna see how much i can use of this wooden stuff um i have got a few more pieces since last time i saw you there was someone in the paper selling off just like a little bag of furniture for quite cheap um so i've bought that but i've also bought a really nice kind of gothic-y looking sofa um that's more of an ornate sofa obviously i want to hand make as much as i can of this so i'm only buying the necessities but i bought a really nice like ornate little sofa which i think will either go in like the study or i'll replace the sofa um in like the sitting room area um and the only other thing that's really coming is a couple more kind of shelves which again i'm buying to put things on other than that, everything else that I've bought has been for the outside, so I'm still yet to paint the outside. I'm thinking at the moment of painting the blue bit grey and the white bits black, but let me know if you think that's a good idea or if I should do it the other way around, or if I should do black and red. I have bought some supplies to make some green ivy, so I'm going to have like ivy and like plants and stuff growing up all around here and I'm super excited because I have been looking at how to make little autumn leaves so I'm hoping to put some little autumn leaves kind of speckled around. Um, I'm not sure whether or not I should close off these windows so to put like card behind the windows um, and then I can maybe put like ghosts and things in the windows. So again I'm not too sure on the front um, but that's an update on how it is at the moment. I did find these super cute like little um, wooden bits um, in my craft box when I thought I may be able to use those for something um, but as a low down for what we've got so far um, the kind of top right half of the roof is going to be the attic it's just going to be where I put all like the additional stuff so if I have like leftover furniture at the end or anything I'm going to put it in the attic and kind of like it's in storage so so far all there is in there is a ghost just to remind me that that is the attic and then this is going to be like the spare kind of room so I've got a little bed there some shelves um, a set of chairs and a sofa and a little like tv on a stand everything that's in this wooden color is still yet to be altered so that I've just put it in there so I can sort of work out where it needs to go um, and then this is the kind of main bedroom so these are actually two single beds but I'm going to have a look at how I can craft them together um, there's like a little bedside table with a lamp and things which again I'm still going to decorate all that sort of stuff um, another little armchair and a wardrobe and then into the bathroom again I just really don't know if I'm going to keep it like this but so far I've got um, the bath the sink, the toilet, and then like a little shelf. So I am really, really wanting some enamel ones, but if I can't find them, I'm sure I can modify those. I may just paint them black and just see how they look. And then going down to this room, this is gonna be the sitting room. So as I said, I have got a new sofa and table, which I think I'm gonna replace those two with. Um, I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, I do also have a fireplace which is going in here and um, which I'm really excited for. That's in the post. Again, that's just going to become, again, that's just going to come in plain wood ready to decorate. And I have like a couple of cabinets and things which I'm hoping to put on this wall. Um, I do also want to kind of with this sort of thing, but like pictures on the wall and lamps coming off the wall. So I've still got obviously that to kind of think about how I'm going to make. This I think is going to be like a office almost um again i'm not too sure what's going on so i've put the coffin shelf in there um i would really like a proper desk but this is what i have at the moment so i don't know if i'll be able to do anything with that i'm sure i can work with it but i'm also going to make the kind of chairs and stuff look like really comfy chairs so let me just hang on let me have a think maybe i could put the um ornate sofa in the study Yes, I may do that. I may put the ornate sofa in here as like the kind of formal sofa to be sitting on and then have like a really cozy TV room in here. Um, down here, this is gonna be like the main eating room. That shelf is not gonna be able to go out the back there because I will have the stairs going down. As you can see, I only have the stairs done on this level. So it'll be the same um, across each of these. Um, 
so yeah this um it needs obviously moving around i'm not going to decorate the table and chairs for a little while just because i'm still considering whether or not to buy a longer table um and make it a little bit more grand so let me know what you think about that um and then this is going to be the kitchen again this is like a massive working project but i've got two ovens now and i also have like a little sinky area so i'm thinking of trying to make like an l-shaped kitchen so i'm going to have a look online and see if i can get any advice for that so that is everything which i've got that's kind of new in my doll's house obviously i've only still got the sort of three rooms decorated but if i bring you over here i have been collecting a few like paper samples so i actually went to home base and i was looking through the wallpaper um so i found this which is just like wooden i thought maybe i could cut that up and use that for like a wood effect in some places obviously it's really big so it's not going to be to size um i got this um tiled effect on the actual sign it said it was meant for bathrooms and kitchens so i'm going to see how that looks in the kitchen the squares may be too big but i'm just going to try it out um I was, to be honest, looking for black wallpaper, but I couldn't really find some. So I found this white and silver one, so I didn't know if I'd be able to use that. I'm not too sure, because it's not particularly spooky. Um, and then, is this the last one I got? I think I only got four, four samples. I also got this um, grey sort of tarred effect. So again, I made with that in the kitchen. Haven't quite decided yet. Um, but yeah, as I said, I got those from... Uh, home base I was hoping to get some like black wallpaper to put around the walls but they really didn't have any kind of suitable ones so I think now I'm just going to go ahead and kind of try out these two um, for the kitchen and see which one looks the best obviously I still want it to look spooky but I kind of as you've seen from the previous ones I don't want it to look kind of too dark in there so I'm just going to see which one works the best okay so <laughs> I went to go put the flooring in which I have done now I decided to go with this tiled one um just because the tiles look smaller and if you kind of put it in perspective of an actual doll's house it would kind of be like quite large tiles whereas the kind of slates these kind of gray slates which I also had they were just too big so I figured this would look quite cool um in the kitchen and I'd quite like the the fact that it does have black in it um but it's not too dark um, i haven't done the actual walls or anything of the kitchen yet i've just done that um the reason why it took me so long is because i then before i put the floor in i realized that basically when i painted the door frames last time it did this um so when i showed you first i only had this top um door frame painted but I realised if I was going to put the floor in, I didn't want to get paint all over the floor, so I decided to quickly go and do all the black painting first. So I painted this, um, these like two door frames and the doors themselves. As you can see, they're a bit of a mess. I just purposely didn't take much time in keeping it neat, just because I cover up all of the like the messy bit anyway with paper. I then decided to paint all the outside bits black because I did paint, uh, I think it was this bit black, this like edge black, um, for, uh, literally I painted it after I had wallpapered it and it was really difficult to do. So I figured again, pre like painting it before I put the wallpaper on will be easier. So I've just gone ahead and painted all of those bits and I've done the sides and I am planning to do the inside of these doors black as well. Um, again, I was just sort of being messy and lazy there because there's no point me being super super neat if it's going to get covered up anyway so that is what i've done so far i'm now going to think about the walls girls house hall um i literally uh just had some lunch basically um and then i was coming onto the computer to find some wallpaper and the postman showed up and he bought a few little things which i had ordered so first up um i will leave links down to these below um i got all of these off of ebay um so i got this really cute little um fireplace i have seen like a few other sellers literally paint these black and sell them for quite expensive so i had a look online and i think these were either 2.99 or 3.99 so i got two fireplaces and they both came packaged by undid one um 
it's just completely like flat on the back so it can stick on the wall um but that's so nice i'm really really pleased with that i could definitely wood burn this if i wanted to uh, but i kind of want to paint it black um and add some other details so i'm thinking maybe like a bat would look quite nice there like maybe a bat in the middle um or i have those twirly whirly things i could put in the corners but i'm really really pleased with those and they seem like a super nice quality next up i was super excited about this but it's not quite what i thought it was um so i bought this little teacup um basically it's meant to be like a hot chocolate or a cappuccino with a little bat on the top i can understand what they're doing but definitely the photo that um was like in the product thing looked a lot nicer i think this cost me 1.99 it's still really nice quality it does actually feel like a ceramic um but the way the bat's kind of stuck on the top does look a little bit like handmade if that makes any sense but it just looked a bit cleaner in the pictures when i bought it but i'm still pleased with it um it's just not exactly what i thought but it's still really cute and i'll still add it in um and next up i got a little bag of five pumpkins again i think this just cost me a couple of pounds um as i said i really don't want to spend much on this so i'm just working with a budget getting things as cheap as i can but there's like five little pumpkins in there they seem to be like a clay and i got those from the same seller as the um fireplaces and, and then the rest of stuff i'll show you is from the same seller as the little mug so i got this for the front door it's like a little door knocker basically i thought this would look really cute on the door and it wasn't something i thought that i could make that easily and again i think it was around 99p so i wasn't like too fast as i said i don't want to spend too much but 99p here and there it's fine so i got that and also on i was gonna make it into a bat or something but i think the line looks quite cool like it could be a monster so i don't know if i'm gonna leave it this color or paint it black but i definitely would like to do a video in the future of making like a little halloween wreath for the front door um so then also i got this little packet that kind of looks a bit sketchy um this is just a packet of it calls them autumn leaves I'm not really sure what this is made out of. It does look like it's actually made out of some kind of organic substance that has been, like maybe it actually is made out of dried leaves. Um, but there's one gram here. Again, wasn't too expensive, but I thought I would kind of sprinkle this around the outside um, once the outside's done. And again, some more bits for the outside. I got a load of this. So I got one like little one, which is just plain leaves. And then this one, which is actually leaves and flowers mixed together, which I definitely think it's cheaper to buy this mixture. Um, I didn't particularly like the flowers, but I thought I could do a bit of a queen of hearts on it and paint the roses red, um, or maybe black, <laughs> depending on how it goes, um, and kind of fashion all of this around the front of the house. Now that I've got this, I've realized I may need to buy some more, um, but again, it was relatively cheap. So all of those last bits were from the same shop. So you will be seeing those again in the future somewhere i'll probably use those little pumpkins just either dotted around the house or within like the shelf crafting and things basically now what i'm gonna do is have a look online see if i can find some nice wallpaper for the kitchen um, i do know that joanna parker does some like gorgeous actual like real life wallpaper designs which are kind of halloween themed so um she was talking at one point about actually making them like printable so people could print them out for scrapbooking and things. So I was first I was just going to look on her website and see if there was any like printable stuff. So she's got lots of decorations on there which is nice. But it doesn't look like they, she has any like printable wallpapery stuff yet which is a shame but still worth looking there's definitely some cute little um decorations which i can scale down and use someone else so i'm just going to go straight to google images now and look for some halloween i think i'm going to go for gray wallpaper images so there's lots of spider webs and things that may be quite cute um with lots of like little candy corns and ghosts i may use that one um i wanted it to look classy but at the same time i do want it to look kind of cozy and spooky so oh well, there's like bats what's that one? Oh, they're like interlocked bats um oh that's gorgeous so that lace or well, that um there's lots of choices i think that's like this one's actually from a spooky book club um, but that's quite cute as well. 
I seem to be a lot more um, designs on here from last time I looked. That one's quite nice. Decisions, decisions. Um, oh, hello ghosties. Um, yeah, I've got loads of miniature crafts as well that I'd like to make, but I think I'm going to save those for a different video. Um, but if you guys would be interested in seeing like um, DIYs, like crafts which are made out of things you can find around the house rather than things you have to buy. Uh, <coughs> sorry, this is a bit disjointed. I'm just looking for something nice to use. So I think I'm going to go for this because it's got that little pop of colour um, but it's still grey so it'll still fit in and also like the ghosties are white um, so I'm going to copy that put it on word see see how big it will go maybe my page layout as landscape so we've got Right, so that's blurring quite a lot, so I'm going to need to have a play around with this, so I'll come back to you once I've sorted that out. So, um, the printer's just printing out some of these. I'm just going to print out three sheets. Um, hopefully be okay. I've kind of run out of cards, so I'm just printing on paper. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it's going to apply okay. Um, when I cut it, um, just because it is a repeat pattern, I'm going to need to make sure that they all line up. So I think I'm going to base it off this line of pumpkins. Um, so obviously that line is going to be the same as this line over here. So yeah, I'm just going to print those off. Um, I just lined it up all on there. So it's basically the same picture, but like six times. You can't see where the breaks are just because I have made sure they're lined up exactly. That's the amazing thing about repeat patterns is they just fit together seamlessly. So I'm now going to see if I can try and apply this to the kitchen. Okay, so I've wallpapered the kitchen. I'm quite pleased with it. It doesn't match exactly but I think it looks okay um so I am pleased with that and especially once I started putting the furniture in it started to look better so next up I'm gonna work on this room which is kind of like the study sort of chill area I was thinking of um having like a sofa as well as the bookcases and I also have the coffin shelf which goes in this room um so I found this wallpaper um I do still have this wallpaper which is left over from the first time I was doing it which is loads of little skulls I really like this wallpaper but for some reason I just I think it's very busy so I may just like save it and just put it up in like the roof uh just because I don't want to waste the paper obviously but um it just is a little bit too busy um so I found this pumpkin print I think I repeated it six or seven times on the sheet um so I'm gonna make the study like pumpkin themed um yeah, I'm going to make the study pumpkin themed. Uh, it is meant to be like a purple background, so I'm hoping to put like a darker, like kind of blue or purple carpet. Uh, I'm just hoping it's not going to be too busy, but whatever. I You can't have too many pumpkins, can you? So I've decorated the kind of study area now. Um, so I was just putting everything back in. Uh, I really love this kind of combination between the um, purple carpet and then the sort of purple sort of, it's this kind of dark purple background with the pumpkins. I think it works really nicely and it's definitely lightened this room up slightly, which I'm really pleased about. So I'm just putting all the furniture back in. As I said, uh, I'm definitely not 100% on the fact that this furniture will stay here. Um, I'm hoping to kind of spruce it up a little bit. The only thing that I'm kind of positive about staying in here is the little coffin shelf. I'm hoping there's enough lighting. I have seen that some people um, can actually like put electrics into it so that they do have like little lights. I'm gonna see if I can get some sort of fairy light sort of things and see if I can turn them into, like electric fairy lights, I mean not fire ones, like electric ones, and turn them into lamps and things so that it can brighten up this area. So what I think I'm gonna do is, just cause I'm getting a bit of backache, I'm gonna take a bit of a break and I'm gonna see if I can make a little kind of armchair sort of thing and make it spooky looking. If I work out how to decorate a armchair to look 
comfy and a sofa to look comfy then I will make obviously a detailed video in how I did it but I'm going to do a bit of trial and error. I'm going out tonight, um, I'm meeting up with some friends so I've got to drive down to Portsmouth which is about an hour's drive so I am going to have to pack away relatively soon and start to get ready because well you can't tell because it's super sunny outside um, but it is getting slightly later in the afternoon but I'm very pleased with today's progress only two more big rooms to do and that little attic space and then it will be all sort of furniture decorations and I'm very excited because I've been thinking about making some Halloween bunting to go down the stairs it's all it's all go I'm very very excited so um, as I said, I've done these two rooms today. So here is the kitchen, which definitely, the more I look at it, the more this kind of tiled floor um, is growing on me. And then the study room, um, we've got the bathroom, which I did last time, the master bedroom, and next up will be the living room. And then right on the top is a little chill area so i've made this cute little sofa um it's still just drying at the moment um it is like properly squishy so it does look slightly more realistic than the kind of just plain wood i'm gonna make two tiny little pillow scones so i'm just gonna look for some orange fabric um or some black fabric and see what i've got um i was just using this um it's gorgeous like bat fabric which I got in one of my Halloween sort boxes. Honestly this fabric I use it all the time and I'm getting slightly worried because this is all I have left. Um, Halloween fabric is really hard to find in the UK so I may have to end up ordering some more but I'm really pleased with that and I'm hoping I have enough of this fabric to make um, the like little matching armchairs as well. So I'm just about to go out but I thought I'd give you a final check in before I go. Um, I am planning to do some more of this tomorrow but I think this is probably going to be long enough for one video so hopefully you have enjoyed this slightly more bitty video um obviously when I'm making something like the coffin shelves um or the shelves I made before um or when I get around to doing the beds and when I do a proper tutorial for the sofa and stuff um I will obviously make longer more detailed videos but when it's putting up wallpaper um it's very very complicated to show you the process and the process is literally just exactly how you'd wallpaper a house just getting sheets um, and making sure they all match up and just gluing them there basically um the same with the carpets and the floors so this was the final thing which i made today it's still just drying um the little cushions are drying but it's a little sofa and i've made two little cushions um that's just some black fabric with a tiny bit of stuffing inside um and i've painted some ghosts on so i think that came out really cute um i will probably have it facing like more on an angle when it's within the house so i am pleased with that um it came out really nicely um, obviously it's a first attempt so there's still some improvement for it um, but I'm looking forward to doing the little chairs in the same sort of style so thank you very much for watching if you do have any questions or comments or requests please do let me know um, if you have any sort of advice for decorating dolls houses or any ideas for my dolls house please do let me know and if you do have any other like dolls house figures or any miniatures which you are looking to get rid of definitely let me know and I'd be happy to buy them off for you so thank you very much for watching if you do have any question comments please leave them down below if it's sunny where you are i hope you enjoy the shade and i'll see you next time bye